Sergio, if we could start with you, please. Home race coming up. Just tell us, how's the build-up been? I think you've been busy running marathons, yeah. taxi yeah. service, all sorts of things. Little one, 8K. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's been a, a busy one. Basically, I, I've been doing everything, every, every single stuff uh, out there. Um, it's a pretty special weekend for me. Uh, you know, it's, I think, uh, the, best, the best Grand Prix uh, in the calendar, but very special for me. And uh, yeah, I just look forward to, the, if there's a weekend that I want to be perfect and do very well, it's, it's uh, this, this weekend. Alex, if we could come on to you now, please. Suzuka two weeks ago was a tremendous weekend for you, culminating in fourth place, the best result of your Formula One career to date. Did you change anything going into the Japanese Grand Prix or was it more a reflection of the general progress you've been making? Um, no, I'd say it was, yeah, maybe more of a reflection. I don't think anything special went on before Japan, just uh, getting more comfortable every time. Um, and then Japan just was a really good track. I loved it, so I think maybe just enjoyed it. And your teammates won this Grand Prix for the last couple of years. How confident are you coming into the weekend that you can get your first podium? Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think um, maybe we're not as favourites as we were on um, the previous years. I think. Yeah, we do have our success here, but um, Fries are looking very strong as always, so uh, we'll see. Antonio, if we could come to you now, please. A question that's quite similar to the one I asked Alex, really, is have you changed anything in your approach to qualifying in particular? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, already in the first part of the season, I was uh, really close to Kimi, uh, always re really there. Second part, yeah, I think... Um, uh, just confidence was coming better and better, uh, but yeah, I don't think uh, something we need to look about. I was in front of Kimi for three times, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy that my confidence is coming better and better. Sebastian, if we could come on to you now, please. Tremendous pole position by you in Japan two weeks ago. How much did you enjoy that moment and how much did you need that moment just for your own peace of mind? Not so much. Obviously, we had uh, both Quali, quali and race on Sunday, so there was not so much time to to enjoy. Uh, I think uh, there was nothing wrong before, obviously qualifying, maybe uh, some events before that didn't really go my way, but um, yeah. Well, look, what about this weekend? Are, Ferra are Ferrari favourites coming into this Mexican Grand Prix weekend? Uh, I don't know. I think um, so, so. Obviously, people look at the track and they look at the straight line, but... Uh, yeah, I think we've obviously been strong on the straight lines in recent races, but there's also quite a couple of corners. Plus here, you, um, you know, it's not one of the track where efficiency matters to, so much. And I think we, we do have quite an efficient car. Lewis, coming on to you now. Thanks for waiting. Um, it's been six races since you last had a pole position. How confident are you of breaking that run this weekend? Oh, well, I don't think a lot has changed. <laughs> We're going to go into the weekend knowing that Ferrari are massively quick usually on the straights and and uh, obviously straights are a powerful element of this circuit so I don't know whether when we'll be getting another pole unless it rains which can change everything. Now looking ahead to Sunday's race you will clinch the world championship if you beat Valtteri Bottas by 14 points. What would it mean to you to win it here in Mexico for the third consecutive season? Well, I mean, I don't remember if in the season I've finished 14 points ahead of Valtteri at any point, so... And if it has, it may have been one race, maybe. So um, I anticipate it'll be a difficult weekend. Valtteri's been strong all year and uh, obviously won the last race, so I expect him to be strong this weekend, too. It doesn't matter where, where it's done, as long as you get it done, and that's what I'm trying to do. Fernando Alonso for Motorlab.com. Um, uh, Sebastian, you as a team are, are thinking in balance all the performance in, in the track or, or what is the way that you will approach this weekend? Um, well, obviously for this weekend here is quite straightforward. Normally you, you know, worry about or think about the downforce choice you make, so trying to find the right balance, whereas here obviously you put the maximum downforce on the car that you can because of the uh, difference in altitude and the air being thinner, so uh, yeah. as I said previously, the efficiency around this track is not so important. Um, and yeah, to focus on the low speed corners, particularly around here, other than trying to put every single bit of downforce on the car that you have, uh, is trying to find the right setup, find, finding the right balance. Uh, Lewis, you are very close to taking your sixth title. 
um, largely because of, you've had such a strong season. If you just consider how you got to this position, are you able to identify what has been the most difficult challenges you've had to overcome to be in such a strong position now? I think our focus was just always just trying to, the, the biggest challenge is always trying to understand these tyres. I think everyone um, has been on that case each year. And there's quite a different dynamic to them this season. So if you look at qualifying, for example, I, I think that's an area that's been probably my weakest, um, even though I've actually, I feel like I've been doing good laps, but they've not been as good as others. Um, I think the races have obviously been stronger and continued, I guess, some from last year, but been very, very strong this season. Um, but then I guess it's just also just the balance of everything you're doing outside of the sport, the obstacles you come across in the build-up to the races, and just remaining consistent. I would like to know your opinion about three years more of Mexico Grand Prix. Well, those, those were great news, I think, for, for our country, uh, for Formula One. I think Formula One is looking to have more races like Mexico, you know. Uh, we don't have that many that we go there and, and the fans are cheering, not just for me, for everyone out there. And uh, it's just something extremely, extremely uh, good. Yeah, of course, you know, it will be my first time here, but uh, I did two FP1, uh, 17 and 18. It's, the track is really uh, nice to drive and I always see a really good race here. Uh, also, like others say, passion here is quite high, so yeah. Really happy to, to continue to, to race here. Yeah, uh, first time here, so excited. Um, and no, I love the food already. It's spicy, which uh, I like. Um, and yeah, no, excited. I think coming into the stadium is supposed to be really special. Um, so I'm excited to see that on Sunday. For Lewis, please, you've never been afraid to use your uh, profile on social media to raise issues that you have outside of F1, what you think about the world, etc. Just wondered how you really balance sort of using your personal profile to to raise stuff like that with the role that you have in F1? Yeah, I mean, lots of people have their, uh, have had opinions about how I utilize my social media, but ultimately it's my platform and we all have a voice, everyone here and around the world, and it's how you choose to and how you want to use it. I personally, it is a little, it's not the easiest because yes, we are traveling around the world, we are racing Formula One cars. Um, our carbon footprint for sure is higher than the average um, homeowner who, who lives in the same city and but that doesn't mean that you should steer, you know stay be afraid to speak out about things that can be um, for a positive change and I'm always looking at things and how I can improve um, the effect that I'm having on the world and it's something I, I guess just over time I've become more and more aware of